Okay, so I wanted to go over how to kill long-range SAM systems with the A-10. Now, keep in mind that this isn't an easy task, but it is possible. So we'll be going over three ways today. Um, probably the easiest way, but the most time-consuming and resource-consuming, is to evade the missiles at a long range from the actual SAM site, and then once all the missiles are depleted, go in and kill the SAMs when they can't shoot at you. The bigger the SAM site is, the less capable you're going to be of doing this within a reasonable time frame. For instance, if there's like 12 SA-10s located at a SAM site, uh, this one is a full emplacement, so there's a lot of actual SAMs. There's, I think, three. Oh, there's actually like six. Um... It's it's not going to be pretty trying to do that. So let's get on route actually and show this first method. I'll just demonstrate it quickly. Um, the second method is going to be using mountains and the terrain to actually block the radar lock until you can get really close. Uh, it's not always a viable option. Like here, this is all flat fields for the purpose of actually demonstrating. But that is uh, a much easier way and faster than dodging all of the missiles. Um, and you can get a lot closer that way, so you can actually engage it without having a whole bunch of just dodging every single... running out of ammo, essentially, is the first strategy. And then we'll go over the other two strategies. They're both kind of the same strategy. It's just uh, what you do at the end that matters. We'll go over that in a second. So first, let's fly in. And let's speed up time a bit until we start getting a lock. So let's see what the actual engagement radar range of this is. So let's speed up time until we are in the engagement range. The engagement range on the SA-10 is quite large, and it's a very good tracking missile. So that's why I'm using it for demonstration, is because it's the longest range SAM that's relatively hard to beat. Okay. Everything looks to be in order. And here we're about to be in range. So we're about to start getting tracked and the SAM will engage us. Obviously, um, when you're trying to evade missiles, uh, using a SAM protocol will help. I believe the SA-10 is a SAM-2, but I'm not sure. I just won't be using it. And chaff helps. However, since we're at this distance um, where it'll be engaging us, we can actually outrange it before it fires on us. So let's see if we can't get it to lock us. Here, I'm going to get it to fire at us. You want to be out of this engagement circle before the missile reaches you. That's the key. Uh, then you don't even need to evade, really, because the missile just doesn't have any more propellant to get where it needs to be, which is you. So, let's wait until it starts tracking us. This guy's playing it smart by waiting till I get further in. If it fires on you immediately, uh, when you're in its max range, you can just turn and get out immediately. Which is a issue that uh, makes SAMs really easy to beat sometimes. Because you can just use this strategy. It doesn't always work um, if you're not fast enough. And if it's playing smart like this, it won't work. So there we go. We're getting a missile track. Let's wait for the launch. There's a launch. So now we're going to go ahead and Book it, full speed, out of range of this missile. So here you can see it coming on me. And it is moving a lot faster than I am, so... I might actually have to try to evade it, because I was further in the circle than you should be. Yeah, let's 
turn and make it travel even further. And we're going to be going as fast as possible. Using terrain at this point is helpful and using the ground as cover because the radar can't track you if you're too close to the ground. So let's use that here because there we go. So we lost the track. Let's stay down to make sure that the missile doesn't follow us again and let's see. We lost the missile. So that's one way. Um, we didn't. We actually didn't get out of its engagement range, which is the easiest way to dodge the missile. But we were close to the ground, which makes it hard for the radar to track us, and thus allows us to evade the missile that way. So that's what I did there. Now we're going to be using that in order to get close enough to the SAM to actually engage it. So this is going to be a pretty long trip. But we are going to get close to the ground, um, and we're going to travel all the way over to within engagement distance of that SAM, and then I will go over how to actually kill the SAM there. So let's go ahead and get really pull close. Up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Pull up, pull okay. up. So we are close to the ground, or as you can see, we're about 90 feet off the ground. You want to stay below 80. Below 80 is where it has trouble tracking you. And if you can be at 30, it essentially is guaranteed not to track you. Just stay relatively low until it starts tracking you, and then get lower and lower until it stops. So we'll continue like this all the way there. Be mindful that the autopilot is not very perfect. It likes to raise you up a couple of tens of feet or lower you down a couple of tens pull of feet up, up. whenever it's initiated uh, just because that's how it has to work and it's also not perfectly level pull up, pull uh, when count when it, uh, when you encounter wind or something like that it just tries to keep you level so if you're planning on using autopilot pull all the way here up. it won't work not to mention the fact that the terrain might uh, go up ahead of you so if I used it here pull up. It would drive me straight into terrain, um, even if it was completely level. So you have to really be mindful about uh, about using your autopilot. I would advise using it on ocean surfaces to try to help, but it's still not guaranteed. So let's travel all the way there, and I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are in SAM range. So let's go ahead and make sure that it is not tracking us anymore, because it is, because we were too high. Pull up, pull up. There we go. Still tracking us, but it's not getting a good track, so it's probably not going to launch the missile. Yep, there we go, it stopped. Pull up, pull up. Let's go ahead and select our TGP as soy, and try to get a target sighted. So there is a radar right there. Um, pull up, pull up. We actually hit our bottom there. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> I'm fine, because I hit it very pull gently, up, up. but I might have some landing gear issues or something like that. So... Uh, while you're doing this targeting phase, make sure you're careful, because it pull will up. uh, it will cause issues. So let's get this tracking off. It is tracking us pretty good. Okay, let's pull slave up, our up. Maverick to our TGP here. And let's go ahead uh, and try to see if we can get a lock on that radar. Okay. When you actually pull launch up. your missile, or yeah, when you actually launch your uh, ma uh, Maverick there. Sorry, I'm focused. Um, you do need up, to be above up. where uh, the actual radar can track you, because if you're not, you'll you'll have pull act up, really up. bad issues with um with what you call it with uh with your Maverick hitting the ground early. So we got a track there, but it's not what we want. So let's go ahead and try to re acquire that. It is not getting acquired. There we go. So rifle. So there is going to be a search radar down, so it's going to have a harder time acquiring us, which is good. Now let's go ahead and evade any 
missiles that may or may not have been launched. In this case, there weren't any missiles. And we got our Maverick off, so that's nice. And that is the search radar is going to be down here. I believe that's the search. Now, since we got the search radar down, uh, we can do the same strategy and try to hit it with more Mavericks, and that'll work. However, another strategy uh, with the SA-10 in particular, this will not work with all of them, um, is just get really close to it, and now it can't track us. We are too close for the missile to fire, so it won't be tracking us. And we can just gun down the radars from here. The radars are the most important target. Uh, especially if there's multiple SAM sites like this. Because you can't actually get them all. And that one I missed. But just stay. Uh, the actual minimum range on these SA-10s is about 3.5 nautical miles. So as long as you're in there, you can maneuver pretty high. Um, and just uh, take them all out. With your cannon. This is the best thing to do once you get close. Um, Mavericks are the other method from out far. And they are better against uh, other long range SAM sites. Like the SA-2 and SA-5. That actually have close range capability as well. Um, the, but against the SA-10. I would recommend this. After you launch a Maverick up, or two. Because that will make it possible for you to... Uh, just getting close and not have to worry altitude, about any altitude. any pull actual up, SAM up. launches. So we see the tracking radar right there. Or actually, that's the search radar. Um, I'm guessing we got the tracking one of the tracking radars earlier. If you could disable all the radars, the SAM is disabled. If you can disable all of the launching devices, the SAM is disabled. Um, if you can disable the ammunition, it'll help. Uh, it because some SAM sites have ammunition storage uh, so that they can launch even more SAMs, they can reload. Pull up, pull up. But let's go ahead and get this radar. Altitude, altitude. There we go. Pull let's up, pull up pull before up. we hit the ground. So we still see that there are two SAM sites active there. Um, there is a couple of resupply trucks. And, um, I can't tell what else is down there. Do keep in mind also that when you're close like this, there could be AAA support or other SAM systems that are integrated with the SA-10s so that you can't do this. So that you, uh, they have long-range coverage and short-range. So let's Pull just up. take out Pull a couple, uh, here's the other system Altitude. here. Let's Altitude. get that. Okay. And let's go ahead and get out of their minimum engagement range um, so that we can actually see what it's like now that we've gotten all the radars down, I believe. The minimum engagement range is about this area. It's about 3.5 nautical miles. Um, we're at 1.8 right now, so we'll keep holding steady. And we'll see if we get any radar. Uh, things on our radar warning receiver up here. Sorry in the F-18. It's down there So about here I'd expect the search radar to pick us up again if it was operative um, And we have uh, right now our radar warning receiver is clear and we're at four nautical miles where I'd expect to be tracked at and our radar warning receiver is still clear so we can officially uh, label this SAM site as uh, clean, as it's not going to be able to shoot at us. There are still things there, if should you wish to go back and engage them, so that uh, if they get another radar or search radar or whatever into the field, it'll still be dead. Um, all the stuff, they'll have to get a whole new system, in essence. But we are actually safe to do any other missions we have in the area, or if you were doing seed or something in an A-10, uh, that would be the best way to do it, is to kill them. Uh, if you have mountains in the way, it makes it a lot easier to avoid this radar tracking, as we established earlier. Uh, you can just go behind the mountains from the radar, and then it won't be able to see you through the mountains. Not a capability of radars. So, you'll be safe as long as you're behind cover. Uh, the reason it can't track us when we're low to the ground like that is because the missiles actually have a minimum engagement altitude. 
So if you're below that altitude, it cannot engage you simply because the missile would not be able to acquire you and hit you. And also, we have a lot of ground clutter behind us. And also, the radar, the SAM systems, like the actual radars actually of the SAM, um, usually don't have the capability to look downwards very far because they're supposed to be looking up at the sky. So it doesn't make sense for them to look downwards. Uh, there is a cone that makes it a bit more complicated than that. But in essence, it has trouble looking at the ground in the first place to get an accurate radar. And a tracking radar in particular has a narrower beam. So it will have more trouble actually killing you as well. Actually tracking you, even if the, even if the search radar can find you. If you get that tracking ping... Um, it may not launch a missile at you still, because you might still be below the minimum engagement distance. But I would recommend diving down even slower to 30 feet, if you can handle that. That way, the track will get lost, and it won't even the, Sam, the SAMs won't even know where you're at, much less be able to fire a missile at you. So that is how you deal with long-range SAMs, all four ways, pull up, pull with up. one special to the SA-10, being the gun running. Altitude, altitude. Um, in DCS world. I hope you enjoyed and I hope uh, it helped you. Anyways, adios.